Mm, where is... Ah. Hello. Okay. Stop. Hello out there. Uh, welcome to the Baddie Lashes YouTube. Today I am so excited because Finally, um, this is the art box from the Oh Dear Company. It's a subscription box with art supplies that comes four, four times a year. Yes. <laughs> and this is my first one. I've been waiting for this since Christmas. So I'm gonna, gonna open her up. I haven't even opened the outer packaging. I just picked it up. There's my scissors here. There's my ASMR. Oh. Here she is. Oh, that's beautiful. So the theme for this box is ink, and the illustration is obviously an ink illustration, it's beautiful. I will be keeping this. And it's got a nice old pull tab thing. Paper. Oh, everything is individually wrapped. I love it. So, ink. I will have to check if this is still available because obviously they're not. I ordered this Christmas Eve and I might have been a little bit late to the party, I don't know. I, I found out about it literally like the 22nd December and then I thought about it for two days and then I ordered the box because obviously so first in this little box, full box, we have some brushes, like a whole bunch of brushes. We have a flat, size 8, a round, size 6, with these really nice looking wooden handles, they feel, they feel pretty luxurious. Sorry about my band-aid. I have a broken nail. So they, I'm pretty sure they're synthetic brushes. Nice and, nice and soft though. And then we also have a pencil. In hardness F, which is like middle, middle hard HB kind of. We also have a pigment liner in 0.3, which is a really good size. Ah, oh, focus! Let's see that. Ooh, that looks really nice. Come on, get in there. Yeah! And we also have a, a China Graph pencil. A white pencil. And then, what's this? Oh no, something's broken! No! Ah! Some kind of wax, clear wax crayon. I mean, it's not, it's not broken beyond use, it's just broken. And then we have three um, water brushes, which are great. You fill them with, with water and it's easy for painting on the go great for watercolors and stuff. I've never used them for ink, except one where I actually filled it with ink. Uh, they all have the artful little logo on them. Very nice. So one of them is flat, very soft bristles. Flat, flat brush. And then we have a, ooh, <laughs> getting excited. A round one, which it, Got, got a really nice fine point there. That's good. That'll be good for detail work. 
And the third one is also round, but oh, sorry, a thin point. They feel really soft. Oh, the bristles almost feel wet. I don't know if it's like grease from the factory or something, but they, they they're really soft too. So you guys get back in there. So the artful box. Oh. My, <laughs> the Artful Box ships from the UK and they're from the oh, oh Dear Company. They have some other boxes as well, but this one was most relevant to my interests. Uh, I think they have like a stationary one and some other stuff. Uh, that's just paper. Bye. So let's get on to the little packages. Ooh! <laughs> I'll go with this one first because it's already open. We have some Pelican fountain pen ink in blue, blue-black. That's nice. That's nice. Full, full size, I guess. It's not like a tiny sample size. It's 30 mils, so that's not bad. And let's get on to the Oh, there was a shipping issue with mine, so um, I might be a little bit late on this. No fault of the company, I've, it just disappeared, so they sent a new one. So here are, oh, oh. <laughs> that sounded vaguely sexual, uh, acrylic ink. This one is violet. Looks like a really dark violet too, and it's got one of those little like nipples. <laughs> so that's, oh wow. So I remember seeing the spoiler image on their Instagram where they showed all the stuff. So there's a bunch of inks, basically. <laughs> Unwrap all of them. Ah. Really nicely wrapped. I'm really impressed. It seems like nothing has moved except for the brushes uh, in transit. So that's nice. Bye. And then we have a lemon yellow acrylic ink. Very pretty. I was actually, I think, mostly excited about the yellow ink. I just love yellow. <laughs> Get that there. Next bottle of ink, I'm assuming, by its general weight and size. Whoop. Bye. Oh, this is pretty. This one's called Green Deep. This is what I would call a Slytherin green. <laughs> Cause it's like a dark blue green, very pretty. Yeah. And the actual little dropper is glass as well, so that's nice. Nice, like good quality bottles. I like that. This one also feels like a bottle of ink. Yeah. I'm obviously going to save all of this uh, tissue paper too, because that's good to. Good to, excuse you, good to keep the presents. And I unintentionally matched it with my little foxy shirt. Uh, oh, we have some Indian black drawing ink. And this is like De La Rowney stuff. This isn't, this isn't like off brand. This is good stuff. Yeah, water resistant, always good. If you're gonna paint over it with watercolors or ink washes and stuff. Here we go. The next one. <laughs> Bye. And we have ooh Prussian blue. Look at that. That's real pretty. I don't have a lot of experience with colored inks. I've mostly used um, watercolor, like liquid watercolor, or just black ink. So this is gonna be fun to play with. And here we have the last bottle of ink, it seems like. What color am I missing? There's no red. Maybe there's, maybe, maybe there's the red, we'll see. Yeah, called it. Well, it's not red, is it? Scarlet, yeah. It looks kind of orange toned. That's really pretty. So let's see how this one looks too. They're kind of, yeah. Got a bit of 
residue there, but I think you just have to shake that up and it should be fine. They look really like pigmented and opaque too. Ah, color paper! Woo! Okay then. So not just inks in this box, there's some more stuff here. There is... Oh, what's this? These look like some cards and envelopes. It says, slightly coated 2080 gram board, suitable for wet and dry media, which makes sense because these are wet. Nice. So let's take a look at those. So they're, oh yeah, they are a little bit shiny. So white folded cards, not showing up very well on camera. It's a card. And these really pretty, like natural paper envelopes. And they're embossed with the oh dear logo there. It's nice, I like that. I can make Valentine's with these. There's more in the box. This is this isn't it. There's ink, there's brushes. There's that. And then we have in the bottom of the box, let's see if I can pry this out. There is. Come on. Oh! Careful with that, I want to save it. There is some premium heavyweight watercolor paper. 25 sheets, and they're all 300. Are they really 300? They don't feel that thick. Uh, 300 GSM, acid-free, textured, made in the UK. They are, they're lightly textured, which is nice. I like, for watercolor, I like pretty textured paper, but this is, this is good for ink, I think. And then, of course, there is the little, the little Bible that you get with every box. So this is filled with, wow, this is really pretty. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is filled with a bunch of inspiration and articles about the, you know, the box's theme. Let's learn about ink. Love that. So yeah, there's, a, there's some artist profiles here and their artwork and some tips for using the inks. This is great. Um, unleash your creativity. A new tutorial every every month. So you also get emails with stuff. <laughs> and they have uh, an online shop as well where you can get the materials, you can get other craft materials, which is really nice if you want to fill up with your stuff. So I, this is my first box. Uh, I could not resist. And when I started my subscription, I found out that I had just missed the lino print box, which made me sad because that's something I've really been wanting to try lately. Uh, but lo and behold, a couple days, weeks, during the Christmas holidays, after I had ordered this, um, they came out and said that the Lino box was so popular that they actually made it available for purchase in the Oh Dear shop. So naturally I pre-ordered it, so I'll get to that some other day. There's no, there's no delivery date for that yet, but they've said early, early this year, which is now, so soon! Hey, future editing baddie here to let you know that Right after I filmed this, I actually got an email saying that the Lino box will be shipping out in April. So, uh, yeah, now you know. Back to the video. Yeah, that's all the contents of the box, and uh, I cannot wait to play with this. So here we are. I'm going to test some stuff. Got the inks, got my palette. Just going to whip out the, the pad of paper that we got with this. And make sure that everything fits, fits on the camera, <laughs> camera screen. Probably just gonna test out the materials as they are. Got all the stuff. Now, like I said, something was broken here, and I think I'm pretty sure that this is some sort of resist kind of wax pencil that you draw on first and when you paint over yeah that's exactly what it is i found i found the text in the, in the magazine 
So you draw with that and then when you paint the ink over it resists it so you get like the white outlines there. You can see the, the little cloud. Uh, so here are some little tips in the book. And I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. There are all the ink colors that I have to play with today. Oh boy, it's got some on the paper. That's fine. So I think I'll just start with the little resist crayon, and uh, I'm not really gonna. I'm not really gonna try and do anything. I just I just want to test test this out. And my brushes. I'm gonna go for the round brush. These handles feel really really nice. I just love that they're you know stained. It looks looks really luxurious. And I'm gonna go for the purple first because that's my favorite color. Ooh, it's a really nice deep purple. Really pretty. Whoa, look at the color it made my water. Whoa! Nice. I want to try that ink liner too. And it's a, it's a, I just realized it's a, a uni pin, which is, um, that's a good brand. Uh, I was gonna write a B, but that's not a, that's not great. <laughs> Plain old baddie, <laughs> cause that's me. And I'll go in with the the flat brush. I'll go for the yellow on that one, cause I was looking forward to that yellow. Ooh, that's bright. But yeah, I guess I'll, I think I'll just go through the colors and test them one by one. Make a nice little rainbow. So I'll start with the red. Ooh, ooh, she pigmented. Yes, that's great. Just rinse that off. Go back into the yellow. Get some Roy G. Biv going here. Ooh, cool. <laughs> I could have let that red dry a little bit more. <laughs> I could do another another stripe of, of uh, yellow. Because I've clearly got orange going here. There we go. And after yellow comes green. Now this green is a very blue green. If we were making like a proper rainbow, I would have gone for a more apple green, but this is what we got. Oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty. I want to try mixing some of the colors too, because I mean, if they're if they're sort of acrylic base, they should be mixable. And the blue. This is the Prussian blue, not the not the ink, the blue ink. Oh, that's so nice. That's super intense. That's really, really good. And then the purple, which we know what it looks like, but here we go. Cool. Now try try the black. As expected from from an India ink, it's uh, really black. Nice. And then let's try the, the blue black. That's really pretty too. You can see how it differs from the from the Prussian blue. This is a very I would say like a navy. 
whereas the Prussian blue is a lot more bright. I'm actually gonna try and compare this with my with my royal blue, which is from the same brand. Belkin. So this is basically just regular fountain pen ink. Oh yeah, that's a completely different color. That's way more purple, I guess. This one is a lot more muted. And I think for writing, I would probably probably prefer the blue black because it's a little bit more neutral. A little bit more vintage looking, which is nice. So that's all the inks. And of course we have the plain old pencil. I mean, that's just a pencil. I appreciate that it comes pre-sharpened. That's always nice. But what didn't come sharpened is the China ink or the China, the China, the what? The China graph. China graph has not come sharpened. So let's try that out. Oh no. Well, <laughs> let's try again. Oh no. Well, that's bad news. Let's try the other thin sharpener. Maybe I'm trying to make two. Okay, well, that's not a great result. I'll just try it over. I mean, it works. That ink's not perfectly dry either, so it makes sense that it maybe not, you know, it's a little bit muted. I mean, that works. I think I'd prefer my opaque uh, comic white um, liquid ink, though, to be honest. And then, of course, we have the, the lovely water brush pens. Now, I'm thinking that they mean for this to be used with like a wet, wet on wet kind of effect. And I have used brushes like this before, just not, um, not with ink, so I do understand. <laughs> I do understand the principle, but I'm going to go fill them with water and I'll be right back. So here we are, filled with water, and let's see what happens. Let's open them up, and they're kind of squishy, so I guess I have to press through the... Yeah, you can see it coming through there. Is it out? Nope. Oh, whoop, there we go. <laughs> a big old drop. Okay, so that's uh, that dries uh, waterproof, but I'm gonna go in with the wet, the wet bit. And see, that's pretty cool. You can do some cool stuff with that. And get those nice um, brush strokes because the. Um, the tip is kind of fluffy, a little bit uneven, and I mean that in a good way. So you can get these these cool brush strokes. Nice. Let's wash that off a little bit. Also, since it's filled with water, you kind of they kind of self-wash. <laughs> if you press out some water against a paper, it'll rinse that out. So let's go for the thin one. Oh, hi. Hello. So, ooh, okay, that was not what I meant to do. I'll dip into the red and do some uh, wet on wet. Woo! <laughs> it went. Cool. And that's, I mean, that's covering up the black pretty nicely. That's cool. Pretty. Look at the brush. It's like bright, 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 bright red. That's cool. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this brush clean though, because it's, it's it's still pink. <laughs> the water coming out of it is clear, but the the bristles are very clearly pink. That's fine as long as it doesn't uh, affect what I'm painting with it. And then the big guy. 
big thicky. Press the water through there. And then I'll go in with the, for the sake of contrast, the green. Oh, that's lovely. And I'll press out more water as I paint and see how it, how she do. Yeah, that's nice. It lets the, the water come out in a fairly even stream, I guess. Oh, look at that bleed. Oh, paint. Paint is a wonderful thing. Or ink in this case. So let's try mixing some colors. I'm gonna, where is, here we are. So I'm gonna try and make an orange. I'll just go straight in. Oh, well, that was no problem at all. <laughs> it's a very red orange because it wasn't, I took too much, uh, too much red. Let's just add a drop of yellow and see what we can do. Yeah, that's a really nice vibrant, vibrant orange. Uh, let's see, what else can we make? We can make a more sort of blue-green. Let me do that separately this time. Some green. And some blue. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see how that looks. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous so pigmented and like really even and nice and smooth. I like that. Let's mix some red and purple and see what we get. I mean, I know what we're getting. We're gonna get some other kind of purple, <laughs> basically. But this is a really dark purple too, so I'm sure it will affect the um, Read quite a lot. So we've got some sort of burgundy, I think. Ooh, like a magenta burgundy. Cool. So clearly very, very, very mixable colors, which I definitely appreciate. Yeah, and I think the last test I would like to do is with some nibs. I keep all my nibs in this little pouch. Some of them in a Hello Kitty tin. <laughs> so here we have my oblique nib holder with a speedball, whatever this is called, a cartooning, I didn't mean to sound so frustrated. <laughs> I just hate not remembering things. It's a, a cartooning nib, basically. And it's got like a little round, the tip is kind of round. So you get a very even line, I think is the point of it. I'm not, I'm not really big on nib drawing, but I would like to be, because I, like I like the idea of it. So we're, with like a normal, normal like a thin pointy nib you would be able to get different thicknesses depending on your pressure but with this one I mean I suppose you can do no you can't really <laughs> it's it's sort of an even stroke which absolutely has its place and I think this would be a thinner one of these would be great for cross hatching if you wanted to keep it kind of uniform And then I can try one of the more traditional nibs, or old-fashioned nibs, in my little Hello Kitty tin. So these, some of these are super old. My paternal grandma found these in a box or in a drawer somewhere when I was visiting her once, and she gave them to me because she didn't need them. Here's one little version. And they all seem to have different 
functionalities that I don't even want to begin to pretend to understand, but I just like having them because they're old. <laughs> Remind me of my, of my grandma. So here is this one with the green ink. That sound is very pleasant. <laughs> Yeah, the green one looks really nice with writing. That's super cool. And try, let's try my mixed one. Sort of dip, dipping it in there. That looks cool. <laughs> it's got kind of a sepia tone to it. That's really awesome. So clearly, uh, nibs not a problem, brushes work great, and they're very mixable, very pigmented. I mean, look at that rainbow. That's nice. They go on really nice and smooth. And uh, I look forward to doing something proper with these and not just going bleh all over the paper. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely recommend the Artful Box if you are like me, artistically nerdy, artistically inclined, and want to try something new, and maybe don't want to, I wouldn't say don't want to splurge, because we all want to splurge on art supplies, let's be, let's be real, but maybe you don't want to do the research, <laughs> and maybe you just want to be handed something to try, to be inspired by. Um, because obviously you don't really choose what's in the next box. This is not like making a making a haul on whatever craft supply store. This is you know taking what you get. But you also get the nice book with all the tips and artwork using them and lots of inspiration. And this is like a good this is a good start kit for for inks, definitely. Um, some nibs would have been nice, but I'll I'll take that in a different box. That's fine. <laughs> so I've gone into the artful artful site on my phone to give you some some deets they are 35 pounds plus shipping uh, I can't remember how much shipping was to Sweden but it was not much uh, I mean I think I think I paid like 40 something pounds for the whole box including shipping and that's not bad considering how much stuff is in there so that's nice uh, they say that the value of the box is over 60 pounds i can't remember what this one was but the new box <laughs> there's a new box is 63 65. oh hey there it's editing betty from the future again to let you know that uh, the box the ink box is still available but not as a subscription box it's 45 pounds now for pre-order it's a little bit more expensive than if you were subscribed but you can still get it and uh, all the good stuff i still think it's really good value for money so yeah just to let you know and uh back back to back to past me now bye which is that's that's a lot of money i mean i would gladly spend that much on art supplies you know in the month anyway and this is over three months four months three months so i wonder what the next box is there's a fish on the box is it like markers it's something colorful i can't wait i just opened this one and i can't wait so yeah um obviously this isn't sponsored i just wanted to review because i love art stuff and this seems like a really nice service and um i would definitely recommend it Go check out artful.co.uk. Um, they have an Instagram where they upload not only pictures of stuff from the box, but they actually feature artists that have used stuff from the box. And they also have, I think, daily challenges where they post a picture that you can use for inspiration and either use the materials from, you know, the box or just use as inspiration and tag them and they might feature you. So that's, that's pretty cool. I haven't done it yet because I was waiting for my stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, and I will definitely be reviewing the coming boxes as well, so stay tuned for that. Next one is in March, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and you can also follow me on Instagram, bettylashes underscore art, to see, you know, what I do with the, the stuff. Yeah, 
So thanks for this time and I'll see you later. Bye. Clean up the paper. Always recycle your packaging stuff. Take care of the environment. I mean, look at all this. Look. Oh, gosh. Look at all that. If you get a gift from me in the next couple months, then it's orange.